right guys welcome back to the algs channel hope you guys are all doing well and having a great day so far i just recorded this entire video and realized my mic was not even on so sucks to see but we've got plenty to dive into and discuss with the second best team arguably in the world nrg and their igl mr sweet dreams throwing some shots and some shade over at the current best team tsm and is tsm in danger it looks like it could possibly be after some recent stats came out showing that tsm may have to move on and over to some better landing areas as they're losing a lot and guess who it is their old teammate it's mr snipe down in face clan like i said plenty to dive into and discuss and even some unfortunate sad roster changes in today's video make sure to like comment and subscribe and a little side note if you guys have ever had trouble hooking up your you know controller to your pc like right now i've always used a controller for call of duty and stuff like that and sometimes apex but when i plug it in it vibrates but it doesn't connect and i don't know what's going on i've tried everything under the sun with drivers and i can't get it to work so if you guys have ever had that issue if you're a controller player yourself and uh you've had a fix please do let enlighten me down in the comment section below and let's go ahead and dive right into this so first thing that i wanted to mention here obviously the igl the captain of mr nrg sweet dreams posted this yesterday it was too funny it was too good to not mention he said alert i have some troubling news here phase off spawn practice fault tsm the team that imperial Hal is on and one eight to two phase owns the launch pad tsm has returned to the wall the fight zach mazer uh, design and chaotic it's an absolute mayhem before algs this is true news eight to two and then uh fallout obviously one of the casters well lol you know this is too good what is happening amongst the amongst these grown adult pro players right now there should actually be made a drama series and so uh you know it's good stuff to see but let's take a look at this clip because it wasn't just the whole phase versus tsm and uh situation and tsm having to move because they're losing too much here it's also nick merck seems to be dominating the team that is beating tsm so we're gonna have to take a look at this clip watch this and let me know what you guys think roll the clip this morning with like everything so tsm goes to launch pad right they go to launch pad and they asked FaZe to spawn contest practice them in a custom lobby, right? Oh, yeah, I did. They, hear do, about they, this. Do, they do 10 off spawns and FaZe 8 twos TSM at launch pad. Now, bearing in mind, FaZe is currently getting 3 0'd by tripods and 6 0'd by GE in their respective <laughs> areas. So they go to launch pad and 8 2 TSM. And for whatever reason, they decide, fuck it, we're going to go launch pad. FaZe. So FaZe decides to contest TSM at launch pad. TSM, among other reasons, I'm assuming they just didn't like Launchpad, decided to go back to wall. And then Zach and them were going, to, so no one knew about the phase contest until recently. Zach and them were going to go to Launchpad thinking it was open, but Raven put in the group thing saying that they were going back to wall before Zach was able to like claim Launchpad, not knowing that phase was already there. Okay, so this is the funniest part. Okay, so get this. This is the mastermind TSM. So TSM leaves wall. And they literally give Zach and BBB their contest strats at wall. All of their strats of what they did at wall, they gave to Zach. So now oh. Zach knows their whole game plan. So now they're going back to wall and Zach knows how to fight the contest because they literally told him how to do it. Bro, that, dude, dude, why that would he is... tell them that to begin with? Well, because Zach, Zach was like, is friends with Hal and them. And he just asked like, hey, any tips for the wall contest? Because TSM had no plans in going back. So they gave him all of their plans for the wall contest. And now they're going back to wall and then contesting them. Bro, what? <laughs> Dude, I don't it's care kind of how good of a friend you are with somebody. Like, and you know how, uh, you know how on TSM's off spawns at wall, they always got that top left building for free, the two story, and they would always just kill the noobs like KCP that landed at the flat building. Yeah. Zach and them know the fight for that building, so they just fifty fifty that building every time now. Oh, yeah. And Ra yeah. Raven, you're literally bringing up the strat. Raven goes. No, 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 it's not. No, it's not. That's not our strat. No, yeah, I know. No, Literally, they did that strat 20 times in a row. Bro, dude. He's like, clearly, you guys just don't know how to contest. That's what he types in the freaking oversight chat. Oh, <sighs> my God. Good, so good teams don't have to contest. To nah, me and Nate <laughs> beat them boys into shape with Rocker. We were like 60 and 10 in off spawns. Uh, you actually did beat them boys into shape with Rocker. I can't lie. Nah, Rocker was fucking really good off spawn. Wait, what did I miss? Uh, Nasky uh kcp is the worst soft spawn team in the game that's what you fucking miss yeah nasky 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 phase uh, nasky phase off spawn practice tsm in a custom lobby and won eight two and then said they're going to launch pad because of the off spawn practice bro that's the that's just the silver lining nobody expected so now tsm's oh, going back yeah. to wall like oh yeah we're just gonna practice contest get each other better and there's like Psych, we're going back. My God, dude, do you know how funny it would be? BBB just started 3 0 -ing. Okay, well, this was, I was talking to Zach and Design this morning about, we had a huge call of people. And 
you know, not to be a dick right or anything, but what ended Furia's dominant run? Them leaving Countdown to contest G2 at Thermal, getting shit on and going back to Countdown, and they were never the same. This is the exact same thing with TSM. Now, given TSM, you know, is a good off spawn team. And Zach and Design are talking. I mean, Design's really confident about it, but that's Design. I mean, off spawning well, Design like is just AIDS. Yeah, like, he, he, but hey, man. Am I rated off though? I rate it. Yeah, I, I agree. Like, if whether. I feel like contests make and dismantle teams. Like, no cap. That's what I was telling like, Zach. I, I told Zach straight up. The chances of Zach, Chaotic, and Design qualifying for LAN as it stands and from some random POI is like 30%, right? But if they have the confidence of winning an off spawn against TSM and like this, that vibe going into other maps and stuff, like their chances of qualifying for LAN go up to like 70%. We're playing, we're playing Novakta. The, the funny thing about it is, is that they gave them their strats for off spawn and then now they're off spawning them. And I just find that hilarious. So obviously the IGL Sweet Dreams giving his a slight concern that TSM may find themselves in a Furia-like situation where they're no longer dominant because they're not confident in their off spawns. We'll have to see if that stays true. Can TSM bounce back with the two P to back to back? I don't really know if it's going to happen, but I do also want to make mention of this. You saw that Sweet was talking about KCP and their struggles with their roster as well. And we always know that Max has, you know, had some issues with the visa and or not even the visa, but trying to just get out of the country because he is in Ukraine. And this is the latest update we have. Unfortunately, that roster will no longer be together. Max Strafe did tweet out earlier that he is no longer a part of the Pioneers, unfortunately, at least a part of the main roster. I couldn't manage to find options and permissions to leave the country for lands and upcoming as well. And because of the Russian invasion, and that's the only reason I'm not on the team anymore. Thanks to the team for the time together and the wins. I'm wishing you all luck. And Pioneers did go on to announce their brand new uh, third, which is Zane. And I think obviously people saw this coming. Zane was obviously a very good pickup for them. And considering the, you know, back-to-back -back 1v3s or whatever it was, I think many people are going to be happy with this pickup as well if you are a Pioneers fan. I think this is a good pickup. I still think that Max obviously is a great player on the team as well. It sucks that we never got to watch them play together. And I think that when you, they show up to land, they have Panders and, you know, no offense to Panders, obviously, but this is nothing, uh, you know, against them personally, but it's just that this team's not like rocking together. They're not teaming. They haven't scrimmed. They haven't played all this time together. There's just so much lack of experience with that core roster playing together. And so when you're coming off from another team as well, it just is the vibes are never going to be like on point exactly like you want it. So it sucks to see that it didn't all work out, but I do hope the best for this roster in the future. And obviously personally, for Max as well. Just want to wrap the video up with a couple things as well. Fire Beavers did announce that they got their entire visas to the UK now. So last time they were one of the best EMEA teams to make it. And unfortunately they didn't even get to go. So we'll see if the maybe EU side of things can maybe pick up a W on the next land. Also wanted to mention Valorant. Uh, you know, Tech actually said, imagine this, but for Apex Legends. And I've been saying this, Apex needs to do something like this, uh, you know, because I think it's the best way for the whole competitive scene. But Valorant just announced a global open beta for Valorant's new team-based competitive system, Premier, and it, that it's on its way. And the way that I get this, or the way that I've understood, is that it's going to be like all in-game, like an in-game system, kind of like how Fortnite would do. Like you can like qualify through an in-game tournament league kind of system thing. So I'm pretty excited about this. I think it's going to be awesome to see. You guys can watch the entire video if you wanted to, but it all seems like, you know, they're really taking care of their competitive environment over at Valorant. And I would love to see Apex thrive a little bit more on that system as well. Let me know what you guys are thinking down in the comment section below. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you guys want to stay up to date all things Apex Legends esports related. Until the next time, I'll see you later, Gators.